In today's video, we will be exploring and walking in another national park in North Yorkshire, where nature and culture are at their best for residents and visitors to enjoy its natural charm. With this vast area, there are many places to visit, which I'm hoping to show you some of it. And we begin with the scenic valley of Rosedale. North York Moors is a national park designated in 1952 and one of the areas with the largest expanses of heather moorland in the UK. It is inhabited by picturesque villages with many walkways for nature enthusiasts and adventurers who wish to explore and learn more of this beautiful landscape whether on wheels or on foot. Among one of the popular areas for walking is the Valley of Rosedale. And details of this walk can be found in OS Map OL26. The walk started from the charming village of Rosedale Abbey, passing through the hamlets of Thorgill and Craven Garth Farms, then up to the old quarry site and back to Rosedale Abbey. We began our walk from the village green, then walked through the churchyard of St. Mary and St. Lawrence and the Rosedale Priory. Afterwards, we crossed the road leading to the campsite and followed the direction as indicated by the signpost. There's a footbridge to cross at the end of the campsite and then a stile leading out to the field. We continued to walk through the field until we reached the road. From the road, we turn right and continue to walk as it is a straightforward direction. Although it's a quiet country road, care should always be taken, especially when the verges are overgrown as this can obscure the view for drivers and pedestrians. Rosedale is one of the valleys in the North York Moors and a popular area for a day visit and for walking to enjoy its scenic countryside and almost central location in the national park, making it more accessible. The natural landscape is mainly surrounded by moorland and a portion of farmland. The valley became a major center for iron extractions in the late 19th century, especially during the discovery of high-grade magnetic iron stone in Rosedale, giving rise to the village of Rosedale Abbey, and resulting in a higher population in just two decades between 1851 and 1871. With the establishment of a railway system transporting iron to Cleveland Plains and other areas, Rosedale was among the busiest and active parts of industrial Britain for many years. In the 1920s, the mining was shut but some of the remains of mining ruins are still visible in the valley which is now an important site for tourism. This is the quiet hamlet of Thorgill, situated in the northwest of Rosedale Abbey and inhabited by probably more or less than 15 houses, with some cottages to her for short stay holiday. If you want to know more about the cottages, please check online.
Always remember to follow the countryside code when walking in any national parks. When passing through any settlements, please make sure to respect their property boundary and always take your rubbish with you and dispose of it properly. We continued our walk by staying on the road until we reached a signpost indicating the way to Craven Garth Farm. This road is also found in OS map OL26. After the gate, we walk on the field and cross a wooden footbridge and follow the footpath leading to the farmhouse. There's another gate to use and we walk through the farm cottages, perfect for some short holiday while in Rosedale. A link of their website is provided in the description below should you wish to know what amenities are offered by the Craven Garth Farm. We continued our walk until we reached Daleside Road and we turned right towards the Old Chapel Group accommodation. Just after the Old Chapel building, there is an ascending footpath on the left, which is the old railway line leading to the old mining site, and is also indicated by a signpost. We continue to walk on that footpath until we pass by a small farmhouse. From the farmhouse, you will see the mining ruins and just continue to walk until you reach the quarry site. The views from here are the best of the walk with uninterrupted views along the entire of the valley. From a distance, the structure appears to be a bridge or viaduct, but in fact these are calcining kilns, which forms one of the major ironstone mining sites in Rosedale that operated in the late 19th century and closed down in the early 20th century. The kilns were used to refine the ironstone which involved burning the ore with coal to reduce its weight and remove impurities. This meant that transport was more efficient and landowners who were paid by weight prevented ways. The ironstone in Rosedale was discovered to have a concentration of 45 to 50 percent iron ore as opposed to 30 to 35 percent in the Cleveland seam which led to the ironstone being called magnetic and the mines at Rosedale being referred to as the magnetic mines. The ore was originally taken from the mine by horse and cart until the railway was built in 1865. After the mines reached a peak in 1873, by 1880 all the mines had ceased activity. A couple of mines were reopened shortly afterwards and the kiln keeps in operation. However, by 1929 all operation in the area has ended. We then trace our steps back down the hill to Hill Cottages and cross the road to take the track sign posted Brackenbank. 
The walk starts to go downhill as we head towards the River Seven, which runs along the base of the valley. This area passes through some farmland and it's important to stay to the signposted paths, especially when crossing open fields to avoid damaging any crops which may be growing. We actually made a bit of a map reading error here. Although we stayed to a right of way, it wasn't the correct way that we wanted to pass. So we backtracked back over the footbridge and continued with the River 7 on our right. We passed through some fields with these attractive meadow buttercups, which is a sign that the area is slightly damp and calcareous. The plants are avoided by grazing animals, as the sap contains protoanemonin, which is poisonous to them giving the buttercups opportunity to proliferate. It's just a simple walk along the path back to the village. After a walk around Rosedale, there are plenty of places to buy some refreshments if needed. By the village green, there is the Abbey Stores and Tea Room, as well as Grace on the Green. And towards the south of the village is the Coach House Inn. The only public sitting is under the tree on the village green, which is nice to sit in the shade on a hot day and enjoy a drink or snack. Although no abbey existed here, there was a priory from 1158 to 1535, when Henry VIII ordered the dissolution of the monasteries. However, unlike other religious buildings of that time, this was not the reason for the demolition of the building. Indeed, the priory was kept in good repair and was used as a place of worship for many years until the area became a center for mining. It was then the building was destroyed and the stone used for other buildings, including the nearby church built in 1839. I was pleasantly surprised by the scenery of Rosedale, as it was not what I think is typical of the North York Moors. It was more like the Yorkshire Dales. I would recommend making Rosedale as one of the places to visit when in the North York Moors. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, comment, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more getaways with Noel. Thank you for watching.